Brother, sister, the Celestial, and each brother Wilson. What's going on, guys? Let's set the record straight. All right, we're not human. All right, that's number one. All right, that's 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 the number one thing that we got to focus upon is that we're not human. All right, and as you always get this message from me all the time, we are organic machines. Okay, we're organic machines. All right, and everything about us is metallic. All right. Why do you think our organs are the most sought resources on this realm? Uranium, plutonium, come on, those are metallic. But they're what you call organic metals, all right? And when you talk about organic metals, you're talking about a type of metal that has a fleshly appearance. This right here is organic metal. This this ether, this this uh, carbon. All right, carbon is metallic, and that's why we must eat that which is what metallic. Eat that which is a crystalline type of substance. We must eat that which feeds these bodies that we operate in. Everybody that doesn't, that's not us, is human. All right. Everybody that's not us is human. Even what you call albinos, they are organic machines. They're they're indigenous. They're just a different type of metallic beings. And they showed you that in the movie, uh, in that show, uh, Black Lightning. They had the one who was albino, and he had abilities and he had powers, even though he was albino, but he was still a carbon-based being. All right. Humans are nothing but flesh. Humans have no power. Humans need to um, rely on an, on an external power, which means that you know you have to mentally deceive someone to make them think that you're powerful. You have to have a gun and bullets. You have to have knives. We have real powers, brothers and sisters. All right. One of the last videos that. Uh, Subscriber, the E God, he says, "Well, I don't have to meditate." Okay, you don't have to meditate. You know what? Meditation is the key. You know, I meditate often. That's the key. All right, your chi exercises, your tai chi. You know, things to build up this metallic body because this metallic body gives off frequencies and vibrations. When you're sitting and you're hearing that bee, all those binary and trilateral frequencies is coming through your body. You know what that is? That's the metals within you that are literally vibrating at an at a, at a extremely high rate, an extremely high speed. All right? And when the energies go off, the metallic energy within you, what happens sometimes? Sometimes it, it literally reverberates the energies that are within you. You know, it, or that, that, that energy will literally begin to vibrate and you'll hear that you'll get the vibration in waves of frequencies all right when you fire off a laser gun that laser gun is made of metal all right in order for, in order for our ancient ancestors to make laser energy come out of their eyes they had to be metallic beings right or either they had to be crystalline beings in order plasma is metallic in every nature that's why they need out the plasma from our bodies because plasma is metallic in every nature all right understand who we are brothers and sisters we are not human humans are powerless i am so serious we are ancient indigenous celestial primordial deities they call gods we are organic machines that is who we are we are organic machines. <laughs> That's who we are. We are powerful beings of nature. Extremely powerful beings of nature. And we have extremely powerful forces within us. And we must take ourselves beyond the 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 uh 
the the place where mankind wants us to be. You know, we dealt with dark magic in the ancient days, dark energies in the ancient days, and you know, dark energies and dark magic. You know, we talk about the dark, the dark powers that only works with metallic resources. All right, that's why you know, like we said, you know, the, when you come to Harry Potter and Superman and Wonder Woman and you know Spider Man and all that, they have their people, and the only way they can exert the powers that we have is through their Hollywood cinema. That's the only way. Outside of their Hollywood cinema, they have nothing. There's nothing about them that can create any type of power. All right, these Saxons literally have no power whatsoever. They're humans, these Orientals. You know, some of the Orientals have learned how to tap into certain powers, but then it's like they're limited. But then some of them do what you call magic. And you see them and you see they, they, they light, they, they, they uh, make a, a piece of paper catch on fire, but they have to go away from everyone to do that. We obtain extremely powerful energies, brothers and sisters. We obtain extremely powerful energies. We obtain extremely powerful forces. We are organic machines throughout the, the, the whole order of nature and the cosmos. It's who we are. We are not humans. We're not humans at all. We do not contain a human concept in us at all. That's why the humans want us to say, oh yeah, we're all humans. They want us to put our mindset in them in the in the, in their mindset so that we can lower ourselves to their frequencies and vibrations that's why they want this whole thing of equality oh we are all equal we're all human we are all the same people they want us to do that you got to understand the deceptive words they use to try to make us fall into a deep uh, a, a deep sleep or under a deep trance they use their words they use certain actions, certain things that they do, just like we saw, you you know, we showed you all the, the Freemason video. They're Freemasons, they have no power. But the true Masons are those who obtain extremely high levels of power. When you get into Dragon Ball Z and Superman and Batman and X-Men, like we said, they're showing you the finished product, but what they're not showing you is all the building that they had to do and the creating and the meditation, the Tai Chi, all the work that they had to do because the true Masons have power. The true Masons can contain the power of the cosmos. The true Masons are cosmic beings. That's why we did that, that video a long time ago. You know, we all are Masons. We so-called black people are Masons because we operate under the Masonic order. That's why the thoughts that we have, our thoughts are extremely powerful because our thoughts resonate Therefore, what we think happens, and that's through Masonic order. That's through the powers that are within us. That's through that's strictly through Masonic order. That's through the powers of everything that could ever uh, 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 be in place. So you got to understand, understand, overstand, brothers and sisters, that we are that power. We are that power. We are fully metallic beings. We are organic machines. And being organic machines, we operate in the uh, uh, in, in, in the power of nature and the cosmos. You know, these Saxons think they're so wise by hiding the sun and trying to protect themselves or whatever. But guess what? We have the ability to operate under every level, every 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 situation. We we can operate. All right. So even though the sun is not there, don't get gloomed down because you have a sun within you. All right. You have a powerful energy and a sun within you. You have a powerful force within you. And it's important that you tap into this energy and this power to bring yourselves into the place of, nat of, of, of the natural energy that belongs to us. But we are not human. We're organic machines. And only machines, as organic machines, we have the ability to link it to frequencies and vibrations that humans can't because humans can only get so vibrational before they begin before spontaneous bus combustion happens. Our vibrations can go beyond the, 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 the scope of, of, of the vibrational forces of nature. I am so serious. 
We are nature plus. We are the cosmos plus. All right. We contain certain energies within the cosmic order that humans can never obtain. All right. We contain so much power, so much energy within us. And we've got to take this. We got to, we got to understand this. You know, that's why we talk about building, building and creating. What's the machine? Organic machines that you build and create. What, do you, what, what happens when you, when you use a machine? What happens? You know, you use that saw so many times, that saw becomes seasoned. And you can cut anything. You use that drill, that drill becomes seasoned. You can drill anything. You know, that drill is plugged in. That saw is plugged in. And what happens? We're organic machines and we must be plugged in. That's why it's important to have a, a disciplined mind and a, and, a, and a heart that that is light as a feather, you know, you know, a, 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 a hollow soul, which means a soul without baggage. You can't carry this stuff with you. you. Can't you can't do this stuff? You you know you you can't you you, you can't. I mean, it's, and it's and 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 it's and it's a heavy thing for you guys to understand, understand, overstand. We are organic machines. We are not humans. So we must act accordingly to the way that we were created. And we were created under the divine forces of nature and the cosmos. When you start by talking about divinity, you're talking about a feminine energy, a feminine power, a feminine force that's within us, that's designed for us to operate uh, under under uh, under certain powerful circumstances, brothers and sisters. All right. So we have to understand, understand, overstand that our powers go beyond what we could ever imagine. All right. We're organic machines, and we're supposed to operate as organic machines. All right. We have to tap into that infinite power that belongs to us and bring ourselves into the concept of this reality. What is that reality? The reality that we are the most powerful beings ever. And no matter what these Saxons try to do, they can't stop us. You know, long ago, they called themselves stopping us. Long ago, when they took it upon themselves to, to tear down certain things and destroy certain things, but you know, because we're metallic beings, what happens? We have memory cells, and these memory cells are metallic cells, which means there are certain frequencies that come to us, and those frequencies activate those dormant cells, and those dormant cells then bring back certain memories, because it's all, we're all metallic. Our blood is metallic. Our blood is crystal, well, our blood is, well, when you talk about crystals, you're talking about metals. Because crystals and metals run in, the, run, in, run in the same category. So our blood is also metallic in nature. So you must understand, understand and overstand, brothers and sisters, that we carry a powerful dominant force within us that we've got to take far beyond the brink of what mankind could ever consider power. All right? We are not human. This is number one. We are not human, we have never been human, and we never will be human. Remember that, remember that. Take that information with you and bring forth a powerful information that deals with nothing but the cosmos and, and nature. All right, so the frequencies open up so many gateways within you, which means it gives you the ability to open up gateways on the outside of you. We, what do you know? I use wood. And what did I tell you guys before? I said wood is metallic in nature. Wood is metallic. Wood is also crystals. And that's why a gateway can open up in wood because wood has, has a, a more metallic nature than crystal nature. And wood is what? Nothing but plasma. Plasma energy coming up out of the ground in the physical form. That's why the, the trees and all look like lightning bolts. Because wood is metallic in nature. All right. This is true Masonic knowledge, brothers and sisters. 
This is true Masonic knowledge. This is true power. We are not humans. Let's take that to heart. We are not humans. We're organic machines. We're the most powerful forces to walk this planet. And we have to carry ourselves in the manner of organic machines, the powers, the deities of who we are. And we must teach our, pre our people, uh, reach one, teach one. Or some people say each one, teach one. But I say reach one, teach one. Because when you, when you reach somebody, you teach them. Show them a different way of life. We are not humans. And we must not be operating under the concepts of humans. We must be operating under the concepts of organic machines. Which means that what a machine is doing. Constantly building, constantly designing. Machines uh, rely on the energies within themselves. When you talk about organic machines... Organic machines because of Mother Cosmos is an organic machines. What she does, she relies on the energy within herself and the energies around her. These natural energies. See, she don't she don't need to take protein tablets because protein is nothing but energy. All right, protein is nothing but energy. That's all. So when you say, "Oh, this this broccoli has this much protein," they're trying to count the amount of energy that's within it. That's all. And they say, oh, yeah, you eat this meat, you're going to get the energy from this dead meat. You can't get live energy from dead meat, but you get live energy from live fruits and vegetables. And what are these? What are these? What are we talking about? These these vegetables, they are literally metallic in nature. They're organic metals, your collard greens, your broccoli, your cauliflower. It's organic in, 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 in the, the natural organic metals. You talking about your kale and your Swiss chard and your bok choy and your spinach. You talking about your your mustard greens and and and, and your turnip greens. You talking about beets. Look at your beets. Look at your potatoes. Your potatoes are metallic in nature. What are potato potatoes full of when you grow them from the ground? Uranium. What is uranium? Uranium is metallic. When you see all these metals like magnesium and zinc and iron, those are metallic in nature. So guess what? All these vegetables and all these fruit contain metallic resources. And these metallic resources are designed to feed our metallic bodies because we are full metal jackets. And we are not human. We are organic machines. And we got to get our mindset out of that human state because that human state takes us into a low mentality and into a low mental area. It makes us literally less than gods less than primordial deities because you, wherever your mind is your body follows I am not human I know that I'm a primordial deity I know that I'm a god I know that I'm, a, I'm an, award, an organic machine and this is who we are alright brothers and sisters I pass this message on to you hope you understand, understand, overstand everything that's been said i catch you guys later you know the deal all power to the multi chakra celestial and jelly beans. May chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. And remember, we're not human. That's number one. We're not human. All right? <laughs>